Hey guys, this is Balu from Balu Prime and once again welcome you all back for an exciting tutorial. In this tutorial I will show you how we can make objects follow a certain path in Blender easily. So hope you guys will find the tutorial useful but before going to that if you end up liking this video please click on that like button to share this content and if you are new to this channel consider subscribing my channel and support me. And by the way if you like short 3D simulation videos you can check out my second channel link in the description ok. So now without any further ado let's start today's video. So here you can say I'm using Blender 2.93. Nice. Now let's select everything in this default scene by pressing A on the keyboard and delete. So first of all, let me create a path which I want to make an object to follow. So for that, I will use a curve. So go to this add curve and let me select this arc median. Okay. And also let me give the turns here a bit and let me increase the height. So here you can see we got this path created and let me reduce the turns here. So, okay. So this much is enough. Nice. So now press tab to exit this edit mode. Let me select this curve and increase the scaling here. Okay. So I want to make an object to follow this spiral path. So I will use a spear here. So go to this add mesh select UV spear. So let me reduce the scaling of the spear here and let me place this at the starting place of the cube. So here you can see our cube, sorry, our spear is at the starting path of this spiral. So in order to make this spear to follow this spiral path, shortcut we can do that. So select this spear, hold shift key and select this spiral path or whichever path you are using and press control plus P and select this follow path option. Okay. So now if I play this, you can say the spear is following the path. So if you want to reduce the speed of this movement, we can do that for that come to this curve object properties and in this path animation, expand it here. You can say the animation is set to 100 frames. So for example, this timeline is of 250 frames. So I will increase this to 250. And now if I play this, you can say this will follow this spiral path throughout the timeline. So in this way, we can make objects to follow a certain path in Blender easily. So hope you guys have learned something new from this tutorial. If you have learned anything new, please like, share and subscribe my channel to support me. So we'll meet in the next video. Until then, signing off. Take care. Bye.